Alrighty, welcome to Confusing Perspective. I can't remember if we've done a video on this before. If we did, it was a long time ago over on the main channel though, but for safety, we're gonna sort by top for the past year. Now, Confusing Perspective, it's like how if you see me in person, I might look 5'7", but then Google says I'm 5'10". So, you know, that's the Confusing Perspective thing that we're talking about here. So let's start off with number 19, out fishing. That is a... <laughs> Horrifying alien invasion. See, we're all expecting large metal UFOs to come in and invade at some point, when in reality, what if the invaders' vessels are just gigantic bodies themselves? Okay, they can just survive the vacuum of space. This fish is made at very low pressure, which then had, it would have to have an adjustable bladder because when it entered our atmosphere, then it would just crush. Um, this is uh, it's terrifying though. I, for one, welcome our new fish overlords. I might have eaten some of you in my time here, but I promise I will I will be inverse pescatarian from now on. World's largest boy goes for a swim. <laughs> Got that diving board just perfectly lined up with the deck over there. It's always a lack of shadows that causes the problem with confusing perspective. Like, shadows make everything makes sense when you can see them properly, but it's like when you turn off smooth lighting in Minecraft, all of a sudden you've got these problems with perspective on things because you can't like tell the difference between blocks sometimes. That is a, that is a tall boy right there. My goodness. The, the tallest dude, what was he, like nine feet? He actually was born taller but then shrunk to nine feet. This is some rare undiscovered imagery of him as a younger child. Jet mitosis. One becomes two, right? Yep, okay. I mean, because that makes sense that you can fly like that. Going Mach 1. How, how do you fly that? I can't even track the movements that, like, how they started and how they were able to do that. And Yeah, no, I have no idea. It's just, it's, it's too much for me. I pride myself on being a decent driver, but this has got to be just, like, 10 orders of magnitude higher in terms of difficulty and danger? Nah. This is a truck. I believe we might have seen this on Black Magic Forkery the other week, but in case you didn't, just a very clean truck with good lighting taken at the proper angle such that the reflection is quite perfect and uh, it also looks like the tire is just perfectly reflected so it still looks like a complete tire. So that's well done. That's where the really tricky bits come in. These are the door handles in case you can't see it. Good job on cleaning your truck though. It's very impressive. I wish my cars looked that clean right now. Granus the Illusionist. Tried to take a photo of a grasshopper on my windshield, but it looks like it's a giant destroying the town. <laughs> it helps when you're missing some pixels. It really uh, increases the effect, you know? All the footage of Bigfoot out there, there's never more than a few pixels involved in it, because if it looks too clear, well, you'd probably realize it's not actually Bigfoot. That's pretty great, though. I'd like to think that you did that on purpose. Um, Actually, no, I'd like to think you did it as an accident, but you probably lie. You're like, oh, wow, it looks at that angle. If I just blur it a little bit and reduce the amount of resolution, then it'll look like it's a giant insect over the town. How does he... Wait, whoa. Oh, not not one of these. Not one of... Oh, God. Uh, it still messes with... Uh, even, even, like, knowing what it is, it still messes with my brain because I still see it as if it's, like, an exterior cube. Every single time. Every single freaking time. Those stupid dragon dudes. You know what I'm talking about? The dragon dudes that you're looking at the inside, but it looks like it's the exterior of the head, and then you walk around it, and they're, like, still looking at you, and you're like, why are you still looking at me? And then you get around it, and finally you're like, oh, now I get it, but I, oh, I hate it, so god dang it. it. Screws with me so much. I still can't see it. A wedding photo they'll never forget. That's just some perfectly timed stuff right there. You also gotta like the, um, the person who's in a tuxedo, but just, you know, wearing a baseball cap, showing their support for, I don't know, what is that, SL? St. Louis, I'm gonna assume, Some, something like that. You know, it's a slightly off-centered butt, but that's why he loves her, you know? For all the little imperfections with a slightly off-centered, slightly down, a very elongated torso. Just wanted to show it off for the rest of the world to see at the wedding, the best asset. That's great. I hope you framed that one, guys. I had to give that one a second look. 
I thought the fat guy in the stands was the ball. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I was like, yeah, I, I was just looking at this image. I, I was like, what? I don't need to read the caption. Let me just see where the confusing perspective is. I'm just looking at the ball flying through the air. Oh, oh, that's no ball. Why is he the only one in the stands though? All right, we need to give this guy some credit. He's very supportive of all the players right there. There's him. There's one other person over there. They're the only ones supporting everyone right now. They're the real MVPs here. Might be super rainy, might be super toasty, cold, whatever is keeping people from going and spectating the game, but they're there. The number one fans. You keep supporting your favorite team like that, okay? Just don't refer to it as we. Just make sure you refer to it as they, all right? When you're talking about how, you, how the team did, don't say we needed to pass the ball more. No, just say they needed to. You are not actually on the team though I appreciate your wholesome support. Construction workers. I... Is this an MC Escher book? I'm genuinely confused with what's happening right now. What is going on? <laughs> Whoa! Hold on, at least, okay. Up until now, everything was like, oh, I get it, kind of ha, ha funny. There's a shoulder in the foreground, looks like a butt. This is actual MC Escher going on right here, what? My guess is that the cart on top actually extends outward on an arm and is extended directly towards the camera. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. So the the bucket is, you can't see it because it's, it's directly in the line, the camera, the basket that the guys are in and the base make a direct line. And so you can't actually see the support thing right there. So it looks like it's just sat on top of the vehicle and it's like a miniature cart, but in reality the cart, the base is very large and the bucket is small. Okay, I get it. I thought that they were, I thought the bucket was directly on top of that and it was just like a miniature little thing they could scoot around in and check things out. No, okay. Oh God, that <laughs> had me going for a second there. Whoa, literally never again. It gets you for a second like, in the thumbnail when the image is really small, but then you actually see the image. Yeah, wait, oh my God, I didn't even see the caption. You only see it the first time, then never again, <laughs> hold on. Just go back, Look. just look off to the side, see the thumbnail out of your peripheral vision, and you come in and you're like, no, it's just a guitar. It's just, I can't, I can't see it anymore. It looks like a normal image to me. Like, I can totally see how this might have slipped by. And then you talk to the person who did the graphics, they're like, it kind of looks like a butt. And then the person who did the graphics looks at it, they're like, I really, I, I genuinely don't see how that looks like a butt. And then the person who commented it looks like a butt is like, you're right, it doesn't look like a butt anymore. What am I on? What's going on here? <laughs> a rock in a frozen puddle that looks like an island. But what if, let me just, let me just tell you, what if this is actually a helicopter shot of a legitimate island that just has some very, very large blades of grass. Actually, this is where the uh, the King Kong movie was filmed. They went there because it's known for just really dramatic plant features that no other place in the world actually has. It's a very impressive place, Skull Island, this is. They laughed when I showed them the video. <laughs> It's actually great because if you have like two people doing construction and one person is using a hammer or a saw or something, just depending, you just need to locate yourself so that you're forming a line from your camera to person number two's head to whatever thing is being constructed on and you'll get something that, that looks like this. So this is just, <laughs> this is something fun that you could do to anyone you spot in the wild who's just performing some casual construction on something because why not? If you ever see someone in your family doing a little bit of work around the house or you've hired someone to do some work around the house, you know, just just get out your phone. Just uh, do something like this. Just a casual uh, head smashing. We can't say this. A casual demonetization going on. Or they're just testing out the new headgear right here. Um, it, seeing how solid it is. He's actually wearing a, it's a helmet, but the it's underneath the wig. It's this new technology, so you can look like you're not wearing a helmet, it just looks like hair, but it's really safe. Tiny legs. It's the actual Slenderman. You know, when people say that I skip leg day, I just want to refer to this 
illusion right here. That's all you're seeing. It's just an illusion. In reality, I have the most gigantic quads the world has ever seen, but it's due to the black and the, uh, the white contrast on the pants that I wear that just create this illusion when combined with a lighter top and exposed arms that are quite white because I don't go in the sun that you then think that I skip leg day. But in reality, my quads are enormous just gigantic. <laughs> I'm not insecure at all. Don't worry about it. Um, no, but anyway, this is actually this is pretty great. I think the interest here is less on the horizontal and vertical stripes and more the fact that <laughs> it looks like you have Slenderman legs. Cosplaying as an Enderman, I honestly thought those were your legs. <laughs> it really does look like that. God, it's just, it's perfect. It's perfect that it cuts off where the floor meets the wall and it's the same shade as the floor. Man, that's pretty great. My cords are always getting tangled. Hmm, now I can see how this would happen. So the light source, this is hard to describe in two dimensional space, but the light source is kind of coming over here. And so there's like a little bit of a curly cue that's happening here. And just because the light is kind of coming down vertically on it, it looks like it's tangled, but in reality, the distance, the vertical distance from like this part to this part, it's it's going pretty, pretty vertical. This is just a projection of the cable's dream. The cable would love to get itself tangled. You know, you can have your headphones just completely neatly wrapped up in a, in a circle. You put them in your pocket, you pull them out two seconds later, they are going to have 50 knots in them because cables have a mind of their own. Just found this awesome pick, guys. What do you think? But seriously, let's post this short once and once only. This looks like a dope concert until you realize it's a cotton harvester. I have seen this image before. Okay, was that from the first time that I actually did come to So I have done this subreddit before, I think, because I have seen this, unless it was another subreddit. I don't really know for sure. Um, it also looks like an alien invasion though. With, like these are the eyes and this is, a, it's, it's coming to like harvest the people that are in front of it. I guess this must be the most reposted image on this subreddit because it's a meta post. So anyway, I'll just pop this bottle of liquor down with these others. It's going to be a tiny one, huh? It's going to be a real, real teeny tiny one. It was smaller than I thought it was going to be. I knew it was going to be smaller. Obviously when you're holding it in the foreground, the ones in the back look that massive, but this is where depth perception really comes in handy, I feel like. I think if this were in person, you would really, you would get the sense that, oh yeah, obviously those are bigger, but it's because of the 2D space. I think a lot of these illusions kind of fall flat when they're in 3D in real life. It works much better on the computer. This picture is nuts. <laughs> this is gonna be a pun, isn't it? This is gonna be a great pun. Let's, let's see it. Good morning. Another day, another five foot squirrel trying to break into my car. <laughs> I feel like I've seen this before, but yes. I guess this is what happens when your roof tiles are basically the same color as the asphalt. Damn, these squirrels have evolved lately, dude. Do you store acorns in your car? Because that could be a problem. You know, just like bears, they can break into your car when they smell food. I'll tell you, if squirrels detect a pile of acorns in your car, they just grow gigantic and then they can smash in. It's this evolutionary technique that allows them to get more food. Uh, it's pretty impressive stuff. Can't top this view. Okay, so what's, is it not actually a view? Is it fake? It. All right, I'll give it to you. It looked weird. There was, so, there was something going on there, but that's not what I expected. All right, yeah. <laughs> well played. That took me a second. What the heck? Ah, oh, it's amazing that like, I guess we're so used to, you know, low quality cell phone video that a, an image on a cell phone itself can almost pass off as if it's the real thing. It's cool though. I guess that, man, that required some coordinated effort though, making sure that, cause that is a video. Oh, uh, is that like Mount Fuji or something? I don't know if it's Mount Fuji. I'm probably calling it out wrong, but yeah, oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, dude. That's pretty cool. Also, apparently it's been reposted a whole bunch, but I haven't seen it before, so it's new to me. For once, a super reposted thing is brand new content to me and hopefully to you too. My husband's standing in front of a pond. Yeah. Yeah, just, wow, that's, that is one real clear pond. That's amazing. When do you ever find water that still? I feel like that just doesn't exist. I've never found 
a pond that just has absolutely no ripples whatsoever. Part of me thinks that you rotoscoped out your husband and you just put it, you just Googled sky and then you just plop that back down. I've been known to do that with Minecraft images, I'll tell you. It makes it look much more interesting when you take the block, the foreground, the ground part, you isolate that because the sky in Minecraft, unless you got a texture pack, it's kind of boring, a little bit. So you just, you isolate that, take it out, and then you get a nice actual sky picture. And you put that in the background, oh, it enhances it dramatically. My tips to you, anyone out there looking to make some Minecraft thumbnails, it'll add a little, little spice to it. Might have happened here. She's like, this pond doesn't look interesting enough, let me just replace it with some sky, it'll create a cool looking effect. Give me some karma on the internet, I'm not saying you did it, I believe you. Totally legit. I'm trying to think like what scenario would even look like that. I guess if it was just a really high up cliff, but that would be terrifying. Okay. Well, that's it for the last uh, year of Confusing Perspective. I hope you've been genuinely confused. I, I think the best one was that bucket thing under the bridge. That was like crazy. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Make sure to like it if you like. There is no playlist for this, but if I do it again, then maybe there will be. You can just check out the other videos on the channel. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you want to listen to the music playing in the background, that link is in the outro and description over on the Mayor Music channel. I'll see you next time.